Hi viewers, welcome to this continued lecture on compactness, limit point compact and sequence unit compact. Okay. So last time I talked about sequentially compact spaces and also limit point compact spaces and uh, I proved that the compact space, uh, if a space is compact then it always implies that uh, it is limit point compact. But the converse is not true, right? Compactness implies limit point compact, but the converse is not true. So I'll start uh, from there itself. So I'll start uh, <coughs> by I I'll start uh, illustrating uh, the fact that limit point compact not necessarily implies compactness uh, with the following example, with the following counter example. Okay. So so limit point compact. Uh, does not imply compactness. All right. <clears throat> so the example is the following. So what we do is suppose I consider two point set, which is suppose y in the indescript policy with the indescript policy. So let y be the two point set with indiscrete topology. Indiscrete topology. Uh, so then consider say x is equal to z plus cross y, right? Z plus is the set of all non. Uh, set of all positive integers. So if I consider this particular set, uh, wherein I am considering z plus uh, in the with the discrete topology. Discrete topology. Okay. And y is a topological space with indiscrete topology and z is a, to a topological space, space with discrete topology. Then uh, so, so x is the product of two topological space. So I can talk about product topology on x. I can define product topology on x, which with respect to which I can consider x a topological space. All right. So, so, so now what exactly the set x is? Uh, x is the set. Then uh, x is the set which contains elements of the type n comma a, such that n is in z plus union uh, n comma b such that uh, n is in z plus right let me write uh, like this if y is equal to mm, this two point set that is the set containing two points a and b then x will be uh, this particular collection all right so here I'm just using the definition of Cartesian product of two sets. Now, uh, if uh, suppose if tau is the topology, if tau is the discrete topology on say, so, so we have defined discrete topology on Z plus, right? Then, uh, tau is equal to power set of z plus. This is what we already know. So, hence every subset, hence every subset of z plus is open, right? Open, so with respect to the discrete topology. So, in particular, what we can say is that for any uh, n in z plus, the singleton n is open in z plus all right because every subset of z plus is open so in particular this is a subset of z plus for any uh, n in z plus hence this is an open set okay all right and uh, if script b is the a collection of all elements of the type u cross v such that u is open in z plus and v is open in 
y then script b uh, forms a basis forms a basis for the product topology this is what we already know it forms a basis for the product topology on z plus cross y that is for the product uh, for the product topology on x right so if uh, it forms a product topology on x also no now observe that observe that n so this set is open in z plus and y is open in y so therefore this is an element in script b all right for each natural number n or for each n in z plus for each n in z plus uh, this set of this type is uh, in script b so this implies that this is open in x right this set is open in x because every element of basis is an element of topology but element of topology uh, is called an open set so therefore this set is open in x wherein x is uh, z plus cross y all right all right okay now if i consider uh, the collection script a to be the collection of all sets of the type uh, this one such that n is in z plus uh, then you can easily see that union uh, n is in z plus singleton n cross y uh, this set is uh, this set uh, is the whole of x right so this set is equal to the whole of z plus cross y which is whole of x right that is very easy to observe so, so and each of these sets are open in x all right each of these sets are open in x and uh, union of uh, all the elements of this set gives me the whole of x all the elements of this set gives me the whole of x x hence what is that we observed we observed that script a covers script a is an open cover of x right now now uh, now the question is is x compact that is the question right is x compact now so for the x to be compact what should happen is that every open covering of x should have a, a finite sub cover but uh, this is an open cover of x which does not have a finite sub cover right because if you assume that it has a finite sub cover you will get a contradiction uh, so suppose uh, script a has a finite sub collection covering x then uh, what uh, happens is that uh, say uh, x uh, that is suppose uh, script b is the that is a uh, uh, script suppose this is the that is say script b is equal to suppose n1 cross y comma n2 cross this is the finite subset of script a so on n k cross y sorry i'm sorry so, yeah so this uh that is say this is a finite sub collection is a finite sub cover then their union by uh by the definition their union is going to give me in i where all these uh, n1 n2 n so on nk are in z plus wherein i varies from one through uh, say k cross y this union uh, this union is whole of x right that you their union is whole of z plus cross y which is whole of x 
but the problem is if n is the suppose maximum of n uh, n1 n2 and so on nk then n plus 1 then uh, n is n is in z plus right implies that n plus 1 is also in, in z plus but you can s easily see that n plus 1 uh, does not belongs to or you can easily see that uh, n plus 1 this okay but n plus 1 uh, cross of y this set uh, okay so let me write like this say uh, but n plus 1 comma yeah n plus 1 comma a is not in the union i varies from 1 through k and n i cross y all right because n plus 1 is not in uh, n plus 1 is not equal to n1 n2 and so on nk because of which this ordered pair is not in uh, this union but uh, it is a point in x right it is a contradiction right this ordered pair is in x but is not in the union but here i am saying that this union is the whole of x contradiction this is a contradiction we got a contradiction because of our first assumption that uh, <clears throat> this uh, open cover has a finite sub cover hence uh, script a does not have a finite sub cover implies x is not compact because i uh, found an open cover of x which does not have a finite sub cover this implies that x is not compact all right <clears throat> so now, now the question is is x limit point compact the question is 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 x limit point compact So to answer this question, in fact, uh, we'll see that the answer is yes. So to answer this question, what is that I have to show? I have to show that, well, what was x? x was z plus cross y, no? So in order to show that x is a uh, limit point compact, answer is yes. What is that I have to show? I have to show that every infinite subset of x is a limit point. Hmm? So how the elements of z plus cross y looks like? It will be of the type. 1a sorry it will be of the type na or let me write like this 1a uh, 2a 3a and so on similarly 1b 2b 3b and so on these are the types of elements there in z cross y all right <clears throat> so so now i have to show that what is my claim my claim is that every infinite subset of x has a limit point that means i am saying that x is limit point compact I want to show that x is limit point compact. So every infinite subset of x has a limit point. I have to, I want to verify this. Okay. So let us start with uh, so for for the sake of understanding, I'll take suppose I I'll take A to be this is for the sake of understanding only. So I'll take A to be the set of elements of the type say n comma A such that n is in say z plus. Then this is an infinite set. A is, a, a is an infinite subset of X. All right. So this is for the sake of understanding. I am doing. I am starting with a particular example of an of an infinite set. Now I, I want to say that it has a limit point. Uh, so so how to say that it has a limit point? So what is my claim? My claim is that uh, it has a limit point. Then uh, so 
A has a limit point in B. Now how to show that this point is a limit point of A? A is an infinite subset of X. Now how to show that it has a limit point uh, say of this type N comma B. In order to show that this is a limit point, what is that I have to show? I have to show that every open set containing N B intersects A at some point other than N B. Alright, every open set containing N B, that means every neighborhood of N B intersect A at some point other than N B. Okay. Okay. So, so, so that is what I have to show. So let, let me do a rough kind of work here. So, so A is a, then A has a limit point NB because so reason I'll write later on, but let us try to understand first. So to show that uh, NB is a limit point of A, what is that I have to show? We have to show that. What is that we have to show? We have to show that every neighborhood of NB well intersects A at some point other than NB. Okay. But what are the types of so how so if I consider any uh, neighborhood of NB, it looks like, well, how it looks like, that is the, that is the, what I am going to observe here. Okay. For example, if I consider singleton N cross Y, then this is open in Z plus, this is open in Y, so this is a, this is an open set and it contains well, what does it contain? It contains NB, alright? NB is there. NB is there in this set, right? Let me go back and see how the open sets uh, of X looks like. How the open sets of X looks like. Well, this is a, so what was the basis? Uh, all right so this is the basis for the product topology on x right so any open set uh, will be of any open set uh, of x uh, looks like this no it looks like u cross y sorry u cross y where u is open in z plus or u1 cross y or u2 cross phi because the only open sets in z plus only open set uh, in y are y and phi only right so if i const if i pick any open set uh, in z plus then it looks like this no either it will be of this type or this type wherein u1 is open in z plus and u2 is open in again z plus right this u1 can be for some n you can u1 can be singleton n or it can be uh, can be u1 can be any subset of you know uh, it can be the uh, so any subset of um, z plus right because z plus is a topological space with the uh, discrete topology that that is that is what i have considered u1 can be any subset of z plus all right it can be singleton set also or any subset of z plus you can write as the union of singletons right union of singletons so u1 can be the union of singletons all right all right but here uh here since uh see uh so here so suppose if i consider any open set containing nb that that looks like uh, that looks like this no u cross so here i cannot uh, write phi because uh, so it so any open set containing nb it, 
it will not of it will not be of this type why because phi contains no element but this uh, has second component as second coordinate as b so therefore it, it should look like u cross y all right wherein u is open in z plus but clearly uh right so so this is the open set this is how how the open set containing uh, n comma b looks like where u is open in open in z plus for example for instance you can say that uh, n comma b is contained in singleton n cross y right this is the, this is an open set containing n b all right all right but now here i have considered a uh, to be the collection of this type of element and uh, uh, one can see that n comma a uh, is in s is in a intersection singleton n cross y right right that means this is this is not this is a point in a intersection singleton n cross y that is obviously true so now and this is a this is a neighborhood of n comma b so here i prove that a, any neighborhood of n comma any neighborhood of this uh, type of point uh, here i prove that this neighborhood uh, of this point intersects a at some point other than this that means this that means what we can say is that this is a here you using this example i cannot conclude that it is a limit point but any open set uh you know well i can say that uh, so i can write n comma b uh, belongs to so any open set in uh, x which can any neighborhood of n comma b uh, will be of this form right that is clear where u is open in z plus and n is there in u that is clear n is there in u so therefore n comma b uh, will be uh, in u cross y is clear because n comma b u cross y is a neighborhood of n comma b and uh, so once u, u cross y is a neighborhood of n comma b then uh, so any neighborhood of n comma b looks like this u cross y and uh, so therefore u contains n now n comma a will be in a intersection u cross y right u cross y that is also obvious because n is there in u and a is there in y and this type of element is there in a so this is uh, a point in a intersection u cross y all right so therefore uh, n comma b is a is a, therefore n comma b is an uh, well uh, this is a limit point of a, a. Okay, if a is the excuse me collection of this type now a can be any other infinite set right a can be so here i have collected elements like this if a is the set suppose n comma b says that n is in z plus then in this case also you can find uh, precisely what will be uh, the limit point of a right so using the similar kind of idea so for the sake of understanding i'll uh, uh, start with an example so that you will uh, apply the same kind of approach uh, for any infinite subset of x to find a limit to find its limit point so why this is a limit point of n comma b because any every neighborhood of n comma b uh, is of the form u cross y where u is open in z plus and n will be there in u but n comma a which is a point in a and so this is this, this type of point are, are in a and uh, it is also a point in sorry n comma a is also a point in u cross y as n is in u and a is in y implies that and these two and n comma a is not equal to n comma b so this implies that n comma a is a 
point in uh, so A intersection U cross Y. This implies that every neighborhood of N comma B intersects A at some point other than N comma B. It implies that N comma B is a sorry it uh, it implies that n comma b is a limit point of a right all right so so similarly uh, so you try to use the same idea using similar idea one can show that every infinite subset of x has a limit point because every infinite subset of x will contain uh, points of the type uh, say n comma a or n comma b If it contains mixed type of point, then that case will be more uh, easy, right, to deal with. So, so therefore you can, uh, so therefore using the similar idea, one can show that every infinite subset of uh, X has a limit point, hence X is limit point compact. Okay. So although I uh, hear the 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 verification is not complete, but uh, you got the idea. So hence X is not Okay, X is a uh, limit point compact. So implies that. So what is that I proved? I what is that I saw uh, observed in this example? I observed that uh, this this space X is uh, not compact, but it is limit point compact. So therefore, limit point compact not necessarily implies compact. Okay, limit point compact not always implies a compact that means it does not imply a compact compactness in this case all right so this is the example i i hope that you understood so yes, i'll stop but in the next lecture i will talk about uh, if the space is metrizable then uh, compactness always implies limit point compact, limit point compact always implies sequentially compact, sequentially compact always implies compact. But the space has to be metrizable. Okay? Metrizable space you already know. With this I will stop.